Pahorn was the chief judge or governor of the Nephites during one of the most tumultuous times in Nephite history, yet he often goes unseen in Captain Moroni's long shadow. But a close reading of the Book of Mormon reveals Pahorn to be a principled and righteous leader worthy of study and emulation. For example, he was a strong leader who followed the rule of law and would not alter it. Just as his reign began, he had to deal with the kingmen who sought to have the law amended to allow monarchies. Recognizing the divine origin of the Nephite laws and the threats a monarchy posed to the freedom of the people, the Book of Mormon says that Pahorn would not alter nor suffer the law to be altered. Pahorn took an active role in ending the war, too. After ending a rebellion of the kingmen in the capital city, he joined Moroni on the march to Nephiha with provisions and reinforcements, and he actively helped reclaim that strategically important city. Pahorn actively led troops in the battlefield until the war was over. Pahorn's example yields 12 leadership principles that could be appropriately applied today. Most important of all, in his nearly 15 years as chief judge, he lived up to his oath of office, to judge righteously, and to keep the peace, and the freedom of the people, and to grant unto them their sacred privileges to worship the Lord their God, yea, to support and maintain the cause of God in all his days, and to bring the wicked to justice according to their crimes. And now you know why. <laughs>